And besides that, we all know how the cops framed you. And we want to tell you that we believe in you more than ever. Thanks, Buck. To show you how I feel about it, I'm going to see that you get a good job. Check. Well, the lockstep didn't give you four feet, did it? Dance. Oh, well, don't. Joan, you're wonderful. You're coming here with me. Your letters of encouragement. You don't know how much it helps me. I want you to meet Billy Morgan, the boy broker. He disposes of bonds well. I got something for you. And you write down your address and I'll show you a swell trick. Let him go ahead. Maybe he'll lay a leg. He's all right. Houdini. Well, what's the trick? That was it. I wanted to find out where you reside. <laughs> oh, I want to live. Can't get a little right here.
Well, tell me why. Well, I've had enough of being a policeman's daughter, and I don't want to be another policeman's wife. Well, now, what's the matter with policemen? They're manhunters. They're cruel and merciless. They're always hunting them for a devil and sending them to jail. And they think themselves great heroes. Well, we've got to uphold the law. Law? Is third degreeing bulldozing people into confessing crimes they didn't commit? Is that law? No, but... Oh, I don't understand. No. Of course you don't. You're a policeman, and you'll never understand. I understand. Perhaps if you weren't a policeman, Tommy. Maybe... Maybe I could resign. Please, Tommy. I met Kick Williams today. Oh, that's why you turned down the best detective sergeant on the force. Is it? I suppose if Tommy had a burglar's kit instead of a shield, you'd fall into his arms. And then if he croaked some guy and stick up a bank, you'd hang on his neck and kiss him to death. No, Father. But if I could help people when they get out of jail, it would sort of square things for your putting them in, wouldn't it? So you think you'll start in by helping that dirty crook Williams, eh? If I can help him make good, to find a place for himself, I'm certainly going to do it. Are you listening to me? You keep away from that rat and hook up with Tommy or I'm through with you. Do you understand?
Turn in a general alarm for Top alone. Last scene driving a taxi in this district. Any news? Yeah. Monaghan of the Detective Bureau says he just picked up Soft Malone in Jersey City. See, that's fine. Darn that bird. Hello? There's a fellow waiting downstairs there. Will you send him up? Yes, sir. He said that you all can come right up. Come in, Danny. Let's have your hat. You know Danny McGann, don't you, Pete? Sure, I do. How are you, Mr. Manning? Fine. They tell me you know more crooks than any detective on the force. <laughs> Maybe I missed my vocation. Don't you believe it, boy. There's nothing better than being a good detective. Gee, that's what I want to be, Mr. Manning. He has a line on the outfit that robbed the warehouse. He shot O'Brien. You have? Yes, sir. Good. Let's go into my room. You coming, Tommy? Oh, I'll be with you in a minute, Pete. I guess it. I'll pack my bag and be right down. You know, I think Backman and his gang are mixed up in this. Yeah? Say, Chick Williams is one of that gang, ain't he? Yeah, I think he is. I know he is. Listen, Backman is just a fence. I'll show you. He wouldn't kill anybody. He's handled more stolen goods. Oh, hello, John. Who's there? A pal of mine from the homicide squad. We're working on the O'Brien case. John. I've been thinking over what you said just to and right or wrong, you're more to me than anything else in the world. And always have been, ever since we were kids together. And if you're against my being on the police force, well, as soon as I get the rat that shot O'Brien, I'll quit. I'm afraid it's too late, Tommy. Are you in love with Chick Williams, Joan? Yes. And I'm going through for Well, it looks like we'd hook up Williams with the O'Brien killing. Yes. Yes, sir. I heard what you said, Dad, and I can prove that you can't stand chick for that. Now you keep out of this. This is a police affair. I'm going to make it my affair. Well, everything's set, Tommy. I'll phone you through our plan at the Vincent Hotel. Why, how do you do? I didn't know you knew Danny McGann, Joan. Yes, I know him. But it's Billy Morgan, the boy broker. And I'm sure my friends will be glad to know that he's a copper. 
Ask the lady, Miss Thomas, to come up, please. Right. Joe, if you keep off your shoes and let me see Papa, why would you like to stand in his desk for him? Come in, Daisy. Don't get sore. Because I very seldom take a drink. I hope you'll let me call and see Miss Joan again. Well, if it isn't old Diamond Daisy. Ah, uh, hello. Tommy. Well, are you ready, dear? Where are you going with her? Miss Thomas has invited me to spend the weekend at a roof bungalow on the tent building. You're not going with this woman or her kind anywhere, understand? You and Backman keep away from my daughter. Father, please don't insult my friend. No. Oh, that's all right. I've been insulted by experts before I met the police department. Now, you get out of here and tell Batman what I said. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I resent the way you talk to a lady. Especially when a lady's a friend of mine. Now, listen here. This is a private affair, and you keep out of it. Well, no copper's going to bulldoze me and insult my friend. You get out of here while the going is good. Oh, is that so? Yes, uh, that's uh, so. Next, next. I'm sorry. I get it, kid. See you, nun. Come on, get me. I'm glad you didn't tip off, Jenny. That kid means a lot to me. If your daddy doesn't double cross the you need to worry about me. Why, Jenny almost had a fight. So you leave it to me. I'll get her. Come on down, Joanny. Oh, no, let me get it. Oh, your friends are on the level, as you say they are. I'll guarantee they'll have nothing to fear from Jenny McGann or me. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Dick. I'm so glad you came up, Dick. Father has a little matter that I want settled right away. Why, what's on your mind, Mr. Manning? Hmm? You've got a hell of a nerve coming in here. They think you're mixed up in the O'Brien case. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid you're on the wrong lead, Mr. Manning. Yeah? Yeah. I never carry a gun. Unless the police plant one on me, as they did the last time. Where were you last Friday night, Williams? Friday night? Now, let me see. Where was I last Friday night? I was at the National Theater. Yeah? Well, you'll have to prove that to me. I think I can. What? What have these got to do with it? The warehouse robbery was at 10 o'clock Friday evening. And at that time, Daisy, Mr. Bachman, Chick, and I were at the National Theater together. What are you doing out in public with this jailbird? Answer me! He's my husband. We were married this morning. You let her marry you? Why, yes, sir. Oh, that's all right, Joe. That's the only kind of stuff they know. Get your things. Okay. 
She's not going with you, understand? She's my wife. She's my daughter. That was kind of rotten of you, Chick. Marrying her like you did. Yeah? Well, you would think so, Tommy. You see, I beat you to it. Now, you get out of here. All right, Governor. Well, I want to tell you something, Mr. Manning. Joan's my wife. And you can't take her away from me. Even if you are a cop. Get out! Well, what are you going to do? Well, she's married to him, ain't she? You ain't going to let him get away with it, are you? They've got a perfect alibi. Then I'll make her break it down. She's gone. Where are you going? I'm going to kill that dirty Oh, pup. wait a minute. Wait a minute, Pete. Let me handle this, won't you? Well, how are you going to do it? Oh, I don't know, but... No theater. Come on. Take the Fiora. Thank you. 
Join Dallas State Hotel Benson. Send in soft below. Number nine, Mr. Davis. Hello. This is George Stanlaw's David. Linden speaking, Detective Bureau. One of my men will use the name of Morgan. We lay his call here. Okay, Tommy. Get in there. What is this, Tommy? I'm asleep over in Jersey City. They bust into my room and bump me on the beach. And I'm here. Say, I didn't wave extradition. It's unconstitutional, and I want a mouthpiece. A mouthpiece? A lawyer. A lawyer. You need to understand me. Your gun saw? No. They put it in their pocket. Sit down, Saw. Me? Sure. Saw you driving away from the warehouse Friday night, just after O'Brien was shot. Oh, no, Calvary, no. I was at the National Theater Friday night. Yeah? Yeah. Do you ever know what happened to Gimpy Jackson after he killed a cop? He just disappeared. Oh, say, listen, Tommy. Listen, I... I wouldn't croak nobody. Honest, I wouldn't. Not even a cop. That's tough. Seeing that you've been elected to take the rap for murder. <laughs>
I'm Eric now. Pick up that gun. Take it. Now put it on the desk. How'd you like to be buried next to Gimpy Jackson, Saw? You, you can't pull that stuff on me. I got an alibi. You I have... won't need it. You're going to escape through that window. In your escape, you grab this gun. Your fingerprints are on it. You take a shot at Pete. But you miss. Pete shoots back in self defense, but Pete don't miss. Get me? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, Tommy. It's murder. It's murder. Why did you kill O'Brien? I didn't. Who did? I don't know. Who killed O'Brien? I don't know. Who killed O'Brien? I don't know. Who killed O'Brien? I don't know. I tell you. Who killed O'Brien? Who killed O'Brien? Who killed O'Brien? Get me for Sweden. And we'll get you a dead out. I'm afraid. I guess. That's your shot at me. Now let him have it. No, 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 Tommy, please. Please, Tommy, I'll tell. I'll tell. All right. I'll tell. Come on, then. I'll tell. Come on. It was. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Who was it? It was. Come on. Tell us. Get it out now. Who was it? Tell us. William. You're a liar. No, no. No, I'll give it to you straight, Tommy. It was Chica. Then Buck Button gave us all tickets to the theater. Take it down, Pete. Doing the first intermission. We went out of the warehouse. And O'Brien showed up. Chick shot him. And we went back to the theater. Chick told me to get out of town. I have been my weakness. I submit with meekness to the man with the wand.
I've got to have an alibi for Friday night. What's wrong? Why? What's the matter? Soft Malone's been pinched. Wait a minute. You leave this room when I tell you to. Now, I've got to find someone respectable who'll swear I spoke to him on the phone for about five minutes. Come on, Buck, think. The deacon. He's always a grand. Oh, I said respectable. Of your hair. How's Billy Morgan, the boy broker, tonight? Huh? Red hot. Billy. Come here. Who, me? Sure. Sit down. I wonder if you'd do Chick and me a little favor. What is it? You see, the cops are working a frame-up on Chick. Now he's got to find someone whose word the police will take. Someone we can depend upon. See, I've got a perfect alibi except for about five minutes. And we want you to swear that Chick Williams telephoned you last Friday night about ten and talked to you for five minutes. Well, what do we talk about? <laughs> Why, we talked about me, getting married. Yeah, sure. And he wanted you for his best man. <laughs> Wish I his best man? Sure. Will you do it? He'll do it. Hmm. Certainly I'll do it. I'm always glad to do a favor for my friends. Excuse me. I didn't see you. Are you going? Well, 
Well, I, I got a, I got a date with a couple of Wall Street guys. We're gonna plaster the town plenty. Yeah? But I wouldn't go if I were you. You see, well, we might need you any minute. Why not ask your friends to come over here? Why, sure. This place needs a little plastering. It's a great idea. I'll get him. Wait a minute. I'll do that for you. What's the number? Uh, it's, um, uh, Melrose, two, one hundred. Give me Melrose, two, one hundred. Yeah. Uh, my, my friends are stopping at the Vincent Hotel. <clears throat> Who do I ask for? George Sauer Raven. <clears throat> Who? George Stanislaus David. Hello. Give me Mr. George Stanislaus David. Yeah. I don't like his middle name. Neither do I. <laughs> Hello, Mr. David. Yeah? Well, I'm speaking for a friend of yours, Billy Morgan. Yes. He wants you to come over to Buck Backman's place at... Oh, you know where it is, huh? Tell him, tell him to bring all the boys. <laughs> he says to come over right away and bring all the boys with you. Tell them the boys will be right over. And don't stall, because there's going to be plenty doing. <laughs> he says there's going to be plenty doing. <laughs> All right. They'll be over in about 12 minutes. Smart fella. Get me Glennon, the detective bureau. Make it quick for me. Winter, 4100. Say, Lammy Chop, do we dance or don't we? Sure, go ahead and dance. <laughs> All right, Cookie. Outside. What did you bring her here for? Oh, well, I tried to call her, but she would come. You're getting dumber all the time. Don't you call me dumb, you big bum. I wouldn't if I could think of anything worse. Why, you were... <laughs> um, um, well... What were you saying, sweetheart? No, oh, I'll tell you later, darling. I couldn't stand it any longer, Chick. Why didn't you call me? Oh, I'm sorry to worry you, darling, but you see... Well... The police are trying to get me for the warehouse killing. Well, they can't do that. You were with us Friday night. Sure he was. Yes, but... Oh, well, leave it at the cops. they got to pinch someone. <laughs> now, there's not a thing to worry about, dear, really. You see, I've just located the chap I spoke to on the phone Friday night. And to think, we were looking everywhere for Billy Morgan. And all the time, he was right here. Billy Morgan? Yes. Yes, the boy that was at the house today. You mean it was Billy Morgan you phoned to Friday night? 
Why, certainly, dear. Why? 